Lalo's Spanish Symphony, Autumnal Brahms, and a Lindbergh premiere highlight this CSO program led by Hanu Lintu. Edouard Lalo was 52 when he finally achieved his big break as a composer with the Symphonie Espagnole. It was inspired by his newfound friendship with Pablo de Sarasate, the Spanish violin virtuoso who had recently settled in Paris. Sarasate was a magnetic presence, mustachioed, often dressed in black, and famed for his immaculate tone and effortless technique. Premiered in 1875, Lalo's Spanish Symphony is a hybrid, part symphony and part concerto. Its five movements are steeped in Spanish rhythms, including a lilting habanera and a seguidilla reminiscent of moments in Bizet's Carmen. Ray Chen is our soloist. Finnish composer Magnus Lindbergh often writes pieces that are fast and explosive. So when the CSO commissioned him to write a serenade, think light and a bit laid back, he wrestled with the assignment. In the end, his serenades is meant to showcase the CSO's shimmering virtuosity. Its main theme begins slowly before darting off in many contrasting directions. In the end, Lindbergh says, the serenade I composed is a wild one. Johannes Brahms composed his fourth symphony during the summers of 1884 and 85 in Mürzuschlag, an alpine village southwest of Vienna. He rented a room with a view of the town square, where locals would stop beneath his window and eavesdrop on his work at the piano. To get his creative juices flowing, Brahms took long hikes in the nearby forests. The fruit of his stay was a symphony of newfound seriousness and grandeur. In the finale, Brahms unleashes a set of 32 variations on a theme from Bach's Cantata No. 150. When it was complete, Brahms sent copies of the work to several trusted friends, though he was miffed when some criticized its rigor and density. He didn't change a thing, and audiences wildly cheered its premiere in Meiningen in October 1885.